Welcome back, everybody. This is Eric and Matt, and this is Life, Liberty, and the Pursuit, your beacon of freedom and the American way of life. Tune in every Friday for a new episode as we dive into the world of liberty and what makes our country great. Today, we might actually be in the realm of torture uh, yep. because we are doing a hot sauce flight. Uh, those of you that have been following some of our flight episodes, uh, usually we record several episodes uh, when we sit down to do podcasts, and then we usually like to tie up each session with a flight. All right, we've done a bourbon flight. Uh, we've done a scotch flight. We thought it would be fun to do a hot sauce flight. Um, yep. I love hot sauce, and I like hot things. Um, you know, hot sauce can be a great way to, you know, add a little bit of fire to a dish or, you know, in some cases, some of these hot sauces are so friggin' hot that we're, that we're trying here today that they are actually intended to add like three or four drops to a pot of chili to give some good heat to an entire pot of chili. So to put that in perspective, um, certainly is a lot of heat that we're bringing to the table today. Yeah, I agree. I, I thoroughly enjoyed um, the the bourbon flight for sure. Um, the scotch flight, I was really kind of more of an introduction. I'd have I had had scotch uh, in the past, uh, but really that was my introduction to the different intricacies of scotch. So I enjoyed that as well. Uh, hot sauce, I do love hot sauce. I think that there's a lot of different applications you can use it for. The lineup that you chose today does scare me uh, slightly. I like to consider myself as someone that has a very high tolerance, but those still scare me. I saw some of the descriptions of those and the Scovilles, and um, you guys are going to be in for a very, very interesting ride. Well, I don't know if they're going to be on for as much of a ride as we are because we've got yeah. to eat this stuff. So We have medical personnel on, on hand <laughs> in case there's any uh, medical emergencies. Yep. All right. <laughs> So, okay, um, I feel that before we get started with our hot sauce flight, it's important to, uh, let's make note of what the Scoville scale is. All right, we're going to go over that just briefly here. All right. And this is straight off Wikipedia. I'm not trying to be an expert, guys, but I'm just trying to make sure people understand that there is a system for determining how hot something is. And I'll pull up a couple of common Scoville uh, unit comparisons so that people can get an idea of how the Scoville units are to like an average pepper versus like something really, really hot. So hopefully it gives people a bit of a perspective. Yep. Pepper perspective. Uh, perspective. All right. Um, the Scoville scale is a measurement of the pungency of chili peppers as recorded in Scoville heat units or SHU based on the concentration of capacinoids among which capsaicin is a predominant component. I can't say that word, but capsaicin is definitely a word that you're going to hear right. uh, when it comes to heat and everything. The scale is named after its creator, American pharmacist Wilbur Scoville, who in 1912, uh, whose, whose 1912 method is known as the Scoville Ogle, uh, whatever, the Scoville test. Yep, All the right. scale. <laughs> the scale, dang it. Yep. He probably ate a hot pepper and said, man, we got to determine a scientific way That's to say hot. what hot is. Okay. The Scoville test is the most practical method for determining uh, H or SHU and is a subjective assessment derived from the sensitivity by people experienced from eating hot chilies. Okay, so I guess what they're really, you know, trying to, to kind of compare that to is how hot something is to to each individual person and right. sort of develop a bit of a standard for how hot people think a certain thing is. Right. So okay. like a bell pepper is a zero on the scale. Correct. Yes. Uh, we do have a, a representative scale here. So I'll just yep. quickly give you guys an idea of what we're talking here. Uh, zero to 100 is a bell pepper or a pimento pepper. Um, 100 to 1,000 Scoville units is a banana pepper, which we can all pretty much agree that's not hot. Yeah. Like it's a more, bell pepper, a banana sweet. pepper, it yeah. is a pepper, but it is not a hot pepper. Right. Uh, 1,000 to 10,000 Scoville heat units is a jalapeno. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, not and bad. And a lot of people know that a lot of the capsaicin is actually in the seed of the pepper. So if you take a jalapeno and you remove all the seeds out of it, you can actually make... Uh, you know, a dish out of a jalapeno, the flesh of the jalapeno pepper that is at no heat at all, 
by removing the seed. So a lot of the capsaicium is actually in the physical seed of the pepper. You would also need to make sure you take out the vein uh, because it's also heavily concentrated in the veins of the pepper as, along with the seeds as well. Okay, good to yeah. know. I'm not up on my pepper lore, but I it's now we good. may in a future episode do a pepper flight using the actual peppers as well. So, oh boy. All right, so going up the Scoville heat unit, from 100,000 to 350,000, we have habaneros and scotch bonnet. Um, scotch bonnet is one spicy little pepper. It is, yeah. It, okay. It is. Uh, from 350 to 800,000 Scoville units, we have the red savina and the chocolate habanero. All right, and then getting into the 800,000 to 3.2 million uh, Scoville heat units. Now, that's a wide range, right? But 800,000 compared to a bell pepper, that's friggin' hot, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, that's when we get into the Carolina Reaper, Dragon's Breath, you know, all of these scary names that make you want to wish you were never born, which I, I have a feeling we're going to be getting into that territory today. I think there's a few up there, yeah. Okay. Um, so without uh, further, further blabbing here, uh, we're going to go ahead and describe uh, the pepper sauces uh, that we're going to be uh, looking at here, these hot sauces, and they're going to vary a little bit in flavor uh, as well as the part of the world that they're from so we're trying to go in, in a little bit of a flight in terms of you know trying the uh, hot sauces of the world and a g wide variety of different flavor profiles and heat okay all right so we've got basically just some toothpicks chips and we have ourselves some milk here uh if just we get in case yeah because the milk does help with the heat uh, we're going to get into that in a minute here okay so our first hot sauce is one of my favorites. I really love this stuff. All right, and I'm just going to read the descriptions that come directly from the website of all of these companies. Uh, when I could find uh, individual descriptions for the peppers sauces, I just want to make sure that you know we, you know, right. have an you idea what they it. what they determine. Okay. Right. All right, Melinda's original habanero, uh, three extra sauce, three X's. Okay, our flagship product, but much hotter. The ingredients are habanero pepper mash, uh, fresh carrots, onions, lime juice, vinegar, garlic, salt, and xan xanthan gum. I can't say that word. Uh, heat level, three times the heat of Melinda's original habanero sauce, but it still packs a delicious flavor. Uh, use it for adding heat to pho, stir fry, gumbo, or pe pelas, pelas. Okay, and this is like a $5 hot sauce, so not too expensive. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, try our first hot sauce. All right. All right, you got your little cup there. All right, I'm going to probably dispense a little bit more sauce than I normally would, but just so you can really, you know, we want to smell it too before we taste. All right, so there's our hot sauce. All right, you got your toothpicks over there, and we've got a couple of chips over here. And we're good to go. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, nose it here. All right, this is the Melinda's. Okay. You know, it it doesn't smell too hot. Um, you know, I, I love a good hot sauce. Uh, I, I think you could compare it to how you look at bourbons or, or scotch when you're looking at it, how thick it is, what that mouthfeel is going to feel like. Um, you know, this has a very, very pleasant aroma. It's very aromatic. It has more of a vinegar and spice smell, um, which is going to, I believe is going to, I've never had this particular hot sauce. Uh, I think it's going to taste, but my mouth is watering right now just from kind of nosing yes. it. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to enjoy this. Yes. I'm going to try just a toothpick dollop first, and then we might be able to put, you know, some on a chip. So let's just try, you know, a small toothpick amount first. That's good. I mean, it's it's a very vinegary, very uh, flavorful hot sauce. I don't think, man, I'm salivating. Um, I don't think it's too spicy. Very, very good flavor. Give uh, it a minute to work here. Yeah. I mean, you definitely have some pulp from the actual peppers. Yep. Uh, some seeds from the peppers. Doesn't look like everything's been strained out. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Personally, personally, heat factor, like, 0 0.5 it's not not a very hot sauce no. to me very it's not hot it, it, it it's does just taste got, good it's got a great flavor yeah 
and uh, it's got a great consistency, and this is definitely a hot sauce that you could put on pizza, hamburgers, hot dogs, you yep. name it, whatever you want hot sauce on. I love hot sauce on chicken, mm-hmm. and um, this is a great bottle of hot sauce if you wanted to if you want to carry around a bottle with you everywhere you go. Like mm-hmm. sometimes a restaurant hot sauce is not hot enough. Right. Like I know a lot of restaurants will have like Frank's or they'll have some, you know, Tabasco sauce or a uh, little bit of Texas Pete or something. And that's a very gentle, mild flavor pepper sauce. It is. Uh, and it's good. It adds a little bit of kick, but this certainly does kick it up a notch. And there probably are a lot of people that would consider this sauce to be uh, considerably hot. You know, and I'm not a huge fan of... Um like Frank's Red Hot or like Texas Pete, they're to to me those are is like a zero on the scale of heatness. Um, it's just not a great sauce for me personally. I do like Tabasco. Uh, Tabasco is more of like a like a vinegary, like a an actual like condiment versus like a hot sauce that just like that Texas Pete or uh, Frank's is very to me personally is very artificial. It's just more of an artificial sauce. I agree. You know, I uh, I really like the crystal hot sauce quite a bit because mm-hmm. it reminds me very much of like a vinegar based, uh, you know, barbecue sauce almost, but right. but good flavor oh. and a bit of heat. I, I consider most of those kind of bottom shelf in terms of heat hot sauces mm-hmm. to be a little bit more of a entry level, uh, hotter than barbecue sauce. And a different viscosity to the sauce than barbecue sauce. It doesn't right. have that staying power like a thick barbecue sauce, but it makes me think of like just spicier than an average barbecue sauce. Right. If yeah, I, I definitely think that using something like a Texas Pete or um, or like a Frank's Red Hot, those are really more well known for like coating sauces, like hot wings and stuff like that. Something that has a little bit of a of a thicker. Uh, a thicker consistency of it. Yeah, yeah. I think consistency is definitely a big part of it. And uh, yeah, Melinda's is a winner. This is one of my favorite hot sauce brands. Um, They're definitely affordable. They're available. Mm -hmm. They're all over major stores. And this is a great way to dip our toes into these hot sauces because they're getting hotter. They're not in order of the heat, but they're way hotter sauces on this table. Right. And uh, next up, we have a Piri Piri sauce. Now... Piri Piri is not a sauce that I'm too uh, accustomed to. I've had it a few times. Uh, the few times that I've had it, they were pretty hot. Uh, they did have some heat. I mean, it's not like blowing my socks off, but it did definitely raise uh, the temperature, the body temperature. So I was a little warm after having it. Uh, this particular one is more of a creamy Piri Piri sauce. Did I yeah. not? Yeah, you handed me two sheets of. Oh, uh, did, did I give blank. you the give you the wrong wrong one here? Yeah, not but really it, a whole lot to go on there. But is there? <laughs> it's okay. I believe this one is a garlic and vinegar based cream sauce, so it's great for like marinades, and you can put it on some other stuff. But this particular sauce should taste very good. I don't know how it's going to register on the heat scale. I think we can tell that, but. Yeah, some, think, some websites will actually list a Scoville rating, whereby others really concentrate more on flavor profile. Right. So I think like a lot of people that are that are like kind of hot sauce connoisseurs in terms of what they like and what they don't like, a lot of people want that perfect mix of heat, but also with a good flavor as well. You know, you don't want some. I mean, some of them are so dang hot you don't taste anything; it's just pain. Right. You know, so there there is a fine line between feeling that bit of numbness and that pain, but also the good flavor. Uh, Piri Piri Pale Yellow, very hot lemony chili flavor. Okay, Piri Piri is a sauce that is traditionally from Africa. All right, so we're kind of going over to an African sauce. All right, let's give this a shot. Okay, that's a nice consistency. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. All right, a little bit of this. I love Piri Piri. I'm a little Mm. bit biased on this one because I know what we're getting here, and it is great. Okay, so let's uh, let's give it a nose here. We're gonna smell. It's very. Uh, this has a, a significant amount of vinegar in it. I can smell it. Very very creamy. <laughs> this is uh, probably more. It reminds me of a uh, like a Greek yogurt marinade. Like if you if you ever if you're familiar with like a Greek 
chicken or like roasting those types of Greek dishes. It's more of like a yogurt marinade okay. consistency, at least. Some not staying flavor. power. Yeah. It's almost it's almost stick. closer to a barbecue sauce than a hot yeah, sauce. I definitely, it's going to stick to whatever you put it on. All right. Let's give it a taste. Hmm. Tangy. Very vinegary. Very, very vinegary. Super tangy. A nice, tangy. gentle, chili flavor. Mm-hmm. Tastes like vinegar and chili powder, but a little bit of zest, a fruit mm-hmm. zest, lemon. Yeah, not bad. Not my cup of tea. A mm. little too tangy, but it Boy, is what it is. Well, that's good. Man, yeah. that would be awesome on some chicken you know, like a good chicken sauce. Yeah. Not a fan, huh, of the Fury Fury? Not that particular one. I've had them in the past where they were a little bit, mm. they weren't as creamy and they had a little bit more heat on it. But this is, this is. I mean, it's a good sauce. I think that it, it would maybe be better served with like a, a dish or something, like yeah, chicken. Yeah, let's, let's try a little bit on a corn chip here. Hmm. Well, now I'm interested. Mmm. Mmm. Man. That is great. Great sauce. For all Love of it. you listening in podcast land. <laughs> so, you, did chip. you ever think that you were going to be sending out the sound of you crunching? Mm. Over the waves, the internet waves and the podcast waves for everybody to hear you crunching on a potato well, chip. I did not. And it does taste good with the chip, but that completely negates any of the spice on it. I mean, it has a great flavor. Zero heat. When do, yeah, I would say it definitely is not hot. Yeah. Uh, the side of the bottle, for what it's worth, it says a 6 out of 10. All right, so, so far with the Melinda's mm. and the Puri Puri, we, we are certainly not into heat mode. I think a six out of ten is a little generous. I think that yeah. uh, that might be some marketing. Uh, it's definitely more of like a two or three. I, I think that that's either marketing fluff or it's one of those situations where they don't want somebody getting a hold of it that is a wimp, right? <laughs> and then being mad that it was you know too hot or, or whatever. Well, with that said, I think that a lot you see that a lot with like restaurants. You'll see a lot of restaurants that um, will fluff up how spicy their dishes are um, because they have to cater to a very wide uh, gamut of customers and the last thing you want is a customer refusing the food because it's too hot so right um, they do their best to try to stay close to what it is but in actuality i've never i've hardly ever been to a restaurant where and even this goes for thai food too i'm i'm, I'm sorry to say they're like oh i want thai spicy and i order thai spicy and it's not Thai spicy. And I'm just like, come on, guys. Like, give me the heat. I want That's the right. heat. Well, I have a feeling that we're getting into the heat here, okay? Um, so we're going to go on to a couple more hot sauces here. The Piri Piri is definitely not bad. Um, in case we didn't say so, that's a fun Funbos. Fine Foods is the name of the brand. F-Y-N-B-O-S. Um, hopefully I'm saying that right. And that's a Piri Piri sauce. And, of course, Melinda's is a Melinda's product. Uh, that's That's the brand of that hot sauce. All right. Now, this particular bottle is kind of cool. It had a little death mask, look, a little skull on the bottle. And the bottle's actually wearing a little, a little hood and cape uh, like death. Okay, so if that's uh, any indication as to how hot this sauce is going to be, um, that's... Oh, and it's called the Reaper, and there's a little skeleton <laughs> on the bottle. And this is the one I was waiting for. I want to see if the marketing <laughs> fluff lives up to it. It is a it is a sort of gimmicky gift style of bottle. Like this is a great bottle to give someone as a gift around Halloween or something like that. And I have a feeling that's probably what they were trying to achieve with this packaging. But let's see if the scary appearance uh, matches up with the sauce that we're dealing with here. All right, now I do have the factory description. I'm going to read to you. Uh, let's see. Not for the faint of heart. This spicy salsa packs a punch of intense heat. The Grim Reaper festooned bottle serves as a warning that the searing sauce means business. It's made with habanero peppers and scotch bonnet peppers. Means business. May contain traces of soy and wheat. All right. Well, scotch bonnet. Remember, okay, yeah, earlier I, we I discussed did. the Scoville units. Mm-hmm. That's not a uh, a calm pepper. Okay, so let's see how uh, how we're looking. This uh, this could this could be pretty spicy. 
All right, and something I want to make note of is that this is the first bottle that has the little dropper attachment. That says something. Which they're telling you, hey, don't pour this in your in your uh, chili. You yep. know, add a few drops. Now uh, I'm going to pour out more than I normally would. I'm not going to, uh, you know, have all of this, but I'm going to pour a bit just so we can nose it and get an idea of the texture uh, here. Okay. Oh, I can smell it from here I know, already. I'm looking Ooh. forward to it. This this <laughs> one, we might actually be in for some trouble. We might be in for some trouble. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. It does uh, very vinegary. I, vinegar is definitely the theme. And, and that's that's going to happen with hot sauce. It's a core ingredient in hot sauce, part of that fermentation process. Man, that smells good, though. It, it does it, smell yeah, good. Yeah, it does. Have a, it has a very, very hearty, thick smell to it. it I, don't, I, I guess that's not even the best way to describe a smell as being thick, but it has like a very uh, yeah. savory, I'm going to, it has a savory aroma to it. It, do, it does have a savory aroma. And I'll say that what I'm, what I'm getting there is almost like kind of a vinegar based um, barbecue sauce that has a lot of brown sugar in it. Brown sugar can do some really weird things when you start integrating it into a sauce. Brown sugar can actually enhance the heat. Mm -hmm. So you would think, oh, brown sugar is going to make it sweet. Not necessarily. Sometimes brown sugar can turn a sauce over the edge and you can get into some really hot territory. It can really accentuate the heat. All right, I'm gonna, Are I'm you going to toothpick it? No, I'm just using the toothpick to kind of scrape enough of it out. To You're just going to turn it up, huh? No, I'm, I mean, I will. I won't take the whole thing. I'm going to have a drop to start. Oh, you're just going to, okay, turn it on up. All right, here we go. Hmm. That's got some heat immediately. I can feel it. That's hot. Yeah, that that's got some heat on it. Ooh, Whew. opens you up. Yeah, Whew. I was a little chilly in here, but I'm not not chilly anymore. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take another little bit more. That is that's quite warm. Mm. But it's warm, but with really really good flavor. It's yeah. got a nice flavor. Let's try it on a chip. Yeah, I, I agree. I'm gonna do the same. Hmm. All right, I got it. It's definitely more bearable, of course, with the <clears throat> chip. It's kind of mixing in there, but it it's it's got some heat. My we lips got, are a little bit. We got tingly. a little bit on there. Let's see. All right, here we go. Let's, Let's see how this sounds. Put, put it out to the interwebs. Oh, a million watts of. Uh, a million chewing. watts. Yes. All right. That's Listen to me eat. Nom, nom, nom. That's, right. that's got some heat on it. I'm That lived up to it. That is that is pretty spicy. I'm not dying, but my mouth is definitely tingly. Lips are tingly. Yep. Lips are tingling. Throat's tingling. Starting to feel a little bit of the sweat build up on my face. Yeah, me too. Just a little bit. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, that's hot. Ooh. All right. Mm. It's hot, but the flavor is excellent. It has got some good flavor. It wasn't just, you know, it wasn't just pure fire. Like I've had some uh, Dave's Burning Insanity, and it's just it's too hot. It's too, it's too much fire, man. There's not really any flavor in it. Yep. Now, then on the opposite side, I've had some really, really hot sauces that were hotter than Dave's, but they had some good flavor to it. So it just depends on how they make it. Your eyes look like they're watering a little bit. Mine are. Yeah, that's it's it's pretty spicy that one. I'm look I'm looking forward to these next ones and seeing Are how you? they taste. Yeah, I mean I'm I'm all we're already committed at this point. Oh we're, yeah, we're committed. we're in, we're done. Oh yeah, we're gonna get some stomach ulcers. We're gonna we're gonna have yeah. a trip to the bathroom. I am gonna um have a splash of coffee, and I will have a splash of water. <laughs> all right, a little bit of coffee to try. You know, I do have some milk in my coffee, so maybe that'll just sort of. And it's not that I'm trying to wimp out over the heat. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure that I'm, I don't know, somewhat cleansing my palate for the next one. And that was really the main reason. You're trying to wash out that capsaicin and get it out. So that way the next one, you can actually taste the flavor. You're right. Okay, taste, here's taste our next the rainbow. one. rainbow. If you'd like to do the honors here. All right. So the next sauce is a Torchbearer Garlic Reaper Sauce. And just going off of appearance, guys, and those that are watching on YouTube can, can see it. But those that are uh, listening on the podcast, it 
looks very similar to the Piri Piri. It appears to have a very creamy uh, appearance. Looks very good. I it, it boasts an eight on the hot meter. So we're gonna see how that goes. <laughs> So the bottle has death on it. Yes. And yes. Uh, death has a, <laughs> a string of peppers hanging around his neck. And there are a bunch of little onions running away. And he actually has <laughs> an onion stabbed on his scythe. Well, and that is because this sauce is made from Carolina Reapers. <laughs> <laughs> What did I do? What did I get, what did I get into? We're, we're committed now, man. <laughs> My nose started running just from saying Carolina Reapers. <laughs> uh, garlic, canola oil, distilled white vinegar, lime, g- mustard powder, chili powder. So, like, you had me at Carolina Reapers. So, so are we sure it's not mustard gas? No, but they added in there. It might, that might come out the other end after all this is done, though. All so right, we're going to find out. Well, here we go. I will pass you along this vessel. Oh, the nose is running already. I know, man. Just the, oh god, it's like there's like a little plug in the end that just looks like death. All right, here we go. <clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, you're gonna come along for a very painful ride. You literally had to break the seal. I had to like break up a chunk yeah. of death in the end of it. Ooh. Hang on, I yeah. will leave it there. I got it. Hang on, did did we? Did you shake that? Did we shake it? All right, let's get a good shake in. That way we make sure we mix yeah, up. Yeah, I don't, all I don't know if you want that little glob there. That nah, might be uh, negative. Yeah. All right, hang on. I got you. All right, look. So let's let's get the sound here on the podcast. Or if you liquid death, <laughs> Carolina Reapers. I was telling Eric uh, for you guys listening at home that if you've never eaten anything hot enough to give you the involuntary hiccups, you're missing out. And I have a very strong feeling that at some point today, one of us is going to get those involuntary hiccups. It sounds just like right right when you have an experience, a shallow water blackout. (laughs) You get like, it sounds like this and no joke for you guys listening. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. That's what it sounds like. And you can't stop it. It just happens. All right, yeah, there was like a little clump in the end of the bottle I had to uh, work loose here. And uh, boy, (laughs) okay, here we are. And this I'm not looking forward to, but... Torchbearer Sauces Garlic Reaper Sauce with the Carolina Reaper. Here you are. Oh, boy. All right, let's nose it. Oh, wow. Son. That is... That's like the hottest thing I've ever smelled. Who needs something that hot? I thought that the creamy texture of it was going to kind of make it a little bit more on the mild side. No, I, man. I was mistaken. It's pretty hot. Yeah. Just from just from the way it smells. That's but, hot. But it's, it smells very good. Like, it has a lot of different uh, ingredients. You can definitely smell the garlic. You can smell the vinegar. You can smell the spices. Now I've psyched myself up. Now I want to try it. Yeah, me too. Because I'm, I'm explaining all these different... Yep. These different... All right. I'm going to start with just a drop or two. I don't want to, you know, dive oh, right in, so to speak, you it's, know. It's pretty chunky. I, I, I'm kind of a toe-in-the-water sort of guy when it comes to uh, hot things. So let's let's just try a drop on a toothpick here. Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. That's pretty hot. Oh, that's effing hot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know, look, yeah. it does have great flavor. It does it's got, have it's good got flavor. a very strong garlic flavor that almost makes me think like a garlic powder or something, <laughs> but really, really hot. I, I got one of the peppers stuck on the back of my throat and I'm trying to get it to go down. It's like a chunk of pepper stuck on the back of my throat. Look, man, I'm going to be honest with you. There, there's certain things that the human body's not designed to do. And there's just certain amounts really of heat good, that the human body is just not designed to take. And I wouldn't say this is like in that territory. Let me get a little more. Yeah, here. I mean, it's, it tastes really good. We're, we're going in for seconds, guys. It's yeah. hot, but it's like a it's like a good hot. Yeah, it, it, it has is. a really good flavor to it. I was taken aback 
<laughs> Initially, man. All right, we're going to go in for the chip here. I mean, it's really good, though. Like, I, good. I, I like that sauce. Even though it's hot. It's hot. It's it's good. And quite honestly, it's not as hot after the second and third tasting. I yeah. think it's that initial, like, kick in the teeth. Yeah. That kind of gets you, and then... And then it's actually pretty palatable. I agree. All right, I'm gonna go. All right, so yeah, this is like my third or fourth. I know, like you're you're going at it, man. I'm yeah, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like go ahead and good. apply a copious amount. That's a pretty good, good bit of hot sauce there on the Whew. chip there. All right, there we go. Going driving right in. All right, well, uh, leave no man behind. Strong garlic flavor. All right. I think that's a pretty good amount on there. Uh, yep. Let's do a little bit more. Very strong garlic flavor. Good heat. Not too much heat, though. You know, when it was when, definitely bearable. Yeah. I, I almost uh, expected worse. I almost feel like the Reaper hot sauce was, has is the hottest so far. Don't you? I would agree. I think I think the the torchbearer is that what it's called? Uh, no, the torchbearer is what we just had. Yeah, that, well, that's what I'm referring to. The torchbearer that had an it had a very strong initial kick, but then it just turned out to be a really good flavor sauce. You know what? It, yeah, I, I agree. It was like a kick in the teeth, mm -hmm. and then you just get this wonderful garlic flavor. Yeah, I mean, Man, my that mouth would be is different. awesome on some wings. Yeah, it's a good I, wing I agree. Sauce. I agree. I mean, you probably don't want to coat it. In a, a coat a wing in it, maybe add it to a sauce to supplement the heat. Mm -hmm. As it'd be a great supplemental sauce, not a primary tossing sauce, because that will really mess you up. Oh man, or like you know, a couple of drops on some pizza or something. Like, yep, yep, perfect. Yep, that's I agree. a great. Hot that's a sauce. good sauce. That was a good choice. I like yeah, that. I really like that one. Uh, it was a little crazy at first, and I've got that numbness on my tongue. Yeah. My lips are a little bit <clears> numb. Um, certainly not bad. Not bad at all. Mm. And that's what I was referring to when I said some hot sauces are pretty hot, but they have a great flavor. Like, I'm sweating right now. Like, I can feel the sweat kind of building up on my face. I can uh, probably imagine the lights there and the glistening coming off of my face right now. You are you are sweating a little bit. And I, and so, just so you know, in these Solo Cups right here, we've, we've got a little bit of milk. All right, Milk really helps uh, lay back on that heat a little bit. And I'm swishing around just a little bit of milk in between just to sort of somewhat cleanse my palate, hopefully. I'm just using water. I know they say water kind of messes with it <clears> and <throat> actually moves the capsaicin around. But I'm just really using it to cleanse the palate for the next sauce. Okay. If I get into dire straits, I'll, I'll reach for my milk. But I, luckily, I haven't needed it thus far. All right, why don't you do the honors on our next sauce there, Matt? Okay, so oh. we're going down the uh, down the pipeline here. This is the one that I was actually worried about. Well, tell us why, Matt. Well... And what sauce is it? This is Da Bomb, spelled D-E, or I'm sorry, D-A, I can't even read right, B-O-M-B, Da Bomb. It's insanity, it's an insanely hot sauce. Habanero peppers and chipotle peppers... And with the addition of natural pepper sauce. Huh. Heat rating, quote unquote, very hot. Very hot. Very hot. So Not no, even, no assigned num no, Scoville No rating. numerical value. However, it is rated at 135,600 SHU. Scoville. What, what so was that rating one, again? 135,600. Ingredients consist of habanero peppers, chipotle puree, uh, water and orange juice, and natural pepper flavoring. So to put that into perspective for both our listeners and viewers, and by the way, this is on YouTube. If yes. you'd like to see our reactions, uh, because we are going to get into some hotter stuff here in a moment that you don't know Ooh. about yet. We're going to get into something hotter, and you might want to see the looks on our face when we break into it. Uh, or not. We are going to get into some tremendously hot stuff here in just a moment. We're kind of turning up the heat. Okay. Uh, to put it in perspective, though, remember our jalapeno was roughly 20,000 Scoville units. So mm -hmm. this coming at, what'd you say, about 150? 135,000. Right. So, yeah, 135,000, that's roughly, what, about six times as hot as a, as a jalapeno. 
Oh, this, wow. this is the one that I was kind of concerned about. Okay, it's well. It's very, very, yeah. Woo. It uh, it certainly <sighs> looks. Oh, boy. I know that we're acting uh, very jovial and jolly right now, but I have a feeling that the uh, the happiness is going to end soon. It, and I think it ends right now. You think? I think this turns. Right, well, let's give it a nose. Whoa. <laughs> That made me cough just smelling it. That smells like fire. It smells like fire. <laughs> I mean, granted, the Ugh. the salivatory glands are still working, so they're going in overdrive right now. I don't think that has anything to do with the desire to eat this. I think it has to do with just, just the fact that it's smelling such a pungent Oh, dude, it, it, it does. And, and, and look, I, I just want to go on record and I want to say that this is a series of bad ideas. And this is th- doing this was a bad idea. Just want to say that. And it was compounded by boredom. I, this, <laughs> this is a bad idea. All right, you ready? No, but <laughs> no, I'm not. But let's. Oh boy! That's All right, let's we'll so see thick. if we get the, the bomb dropped on us here. It's, right, oh yeah, let's got chunks. In. Yeah, that. it's here we go. so thick. Okay, a good initial flavor. Mmm, good flavor. Woo! Uh, <laughs> oh man! <laughs> it really creeps up on you. <laughs> oh man! <clears throat> <laughs> hold it together <clears throat> i mean it just tastes like really 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 hot sauce is what it tastes like i can't talk right oh. now <laughs> oh, God. Oh. all right i'm gonna get a little bit more here all right oh i'm gonna get the hair of the dog a bit me just give me a second. i'm gonna get a little bit only why would you do that oh boy that's so hot <coughs> oh I couldn't. I mean, it literally took the breath out of me when I first, when I first hit. I'm about to start Ooh. having those involuntary hiccups I spoke about. But we're uh, gonna do it again. We're gonna do it again, folks. I'm gonna have a dry chip just to try. Uh huh. All right. Make sure I get some of these nice chunks. We got some nice chunks in of pureed hot sauce here. That was a terrible idea. And guys, this <laughs> might not do this. <laughs> this might not seem like a lot, but it's it's a tremendous amount. Now look, I will say this, if I can talk. Um now if you were to take a small quantity of this and maybe um put it in a pot of chili or something, if you want to turn the heat up on some it's chili, hot. that's a great way to do it. <laughs> <sighs> I'm going to wait it out a minute. I'm starting to sweat. Oh, I can't breathe. I can breathe, but it's like it burns. I think we found the cure to coronavirus. I'm legit sweating. Don't wipe your face. Careful, don't get that in your eyes. Don't wipe my face. Oh, God. (laughs) I'm literally starting to tear up and sweat here. I can tell you this is the... This is considerably less pleasant than the bourbon flight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can we go back to drinking bourbon? Yeah. Look, um, I don't think I require uh, the milk just yet. No, but look. I don't require the milk just yet. Here's the thing. What you got what you to consider, it's not real pain. It's not physical pain. It's mental pain. You can overcome it. Just like you can overcome anything in life. PSA. Look at my, my nose. <sighs> oh, man. It, oh, the water made it worse. I should have known better. Oh, I'm trying to hold out, man. Mm. All right. <clears throat> that is a pretty hot sauce. That's pretty man. hot. <sighs> oh. I can't. Oh. All right. I can't okay. do it. I can't right. do it. No, you know, actually, it is dying off a little bit. Oh, a little oh bit. that's amazing. Are you going to have the milk? All right, I'll, oh, I'll I've, 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 The milk has been had. <laughs> the milk has been had. That's that's delightful. That's delightful. All right, I'm going to have a little bit of milk. 
Wow, it is so crazy how much the milk helps. Oh, well, okay, guys, we're back. Oh, uh, <laughs> thanks for uh, thanks for staying with us on the life, liberty, now, now and look, pursuit. Um, <laughs> that that particular okay, so the bomb that's certainly a bit. That's of an still adventure. really hot. Wow, that's an adventure. I still feel like I just need to sit here for a minute and sort of waft in that a little bit because my mouth is still burning. It's it's on fire. Oh man, this was a bad idea. <laughs> Dude, oh, if you chairs. think this, let me let me tell you something. If you think this is a bad idea, you don't even know what's in store yet. We're all right in the world of hot. Here's the ladder. This is the apex. We're like right here. So, <sighs> I'm so okay. Good. I'm so concerned. You, <laughs> you good? I'm good. I like <sighs> to think I have a pretty high tolerance, but this is very humbling. Yeah. Ooh. Oh man, man, that one's a bit. Of, I'm taken aback a little bit. I'm sitting here. <laughs> oh man, nose is running, eyes are watering. Ooh. All right, we're gonna go on to the next one. That chip actually really helped. Uh, the chip, I like, just kind of. Yeah. I may have to have one. Ooh. Guys, for all those ladies and gentlemen listening on the podcast, that was extremely hot. Really, really hot. What was that? 100, 135,000 skull Okay. Fills. Our next sauce and our final sauce, Ooh. although it's not the final thing we're going to consume, it's just the final sauce. Look at a tear in my eye. Oh, I'm going to touch my eye. Yeah, I don't do that. Freaking blind myself. Okay. We have the Bunsters Shit the Bed <laughs> Black <laughs> Label 1610 Hot Sauce. May cause anal leakage. Oh, God. That's literally, it says that on the bottle. That's why not do, me making something up. Why, why do we do this? I don't know, but I have a feeling we're about to realize the error of our ways very soon. This is the worst of it we're about to. Okay. Um, out of all the hot sauces that we've tested today, Ooh. this is among the most expensive. This is a $25 bottle of hot sauce, so certainly a little bit up there on the price. Ooh, can I read? Yeah, uh, you can. Let's do it. I'm gonna try. No, I I know I can read. Am I able? <laughs> okay, we took the world's finest hot sauce and we doubled the heat. <laughs> oh man! Involuntary <laughs> hiccups, man. I told hiccups. you, man. <laughs> Black Label is twice as hot as shit the bed, but still has the same superfood flavor. <laughs> Treat yourself or give someone the special. Uh, give someone special the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> Nothing says I care about you more than a bottle of Bunster's Black Label. <laughs> well, then. Oh. <clears throat> uh. All right. Um, Bunster's Black Label is the only ultra hot sauce with flavor. I have a feeling that we're about to see here. Um, it I is loaded with scorpion chilies, which is the third hottest chili in the world. Orange juice, garlic, Onions, lime, ginger. Ooh, that ginger is going to give it a pop. Uh, goji berries and herbs. This is one hot sauce. Hardcore chili heads will keep coming back to. We don't use chili extracts in our sauce, so there's no funny aftertaste. Just whole chili goodness. Finally, something hot enough to shut up the person who's never satisfied. Once you go black, you never go back. Uh, warning. Warning. This sauce, this sauce is extremely hot. Please use sparingly. Okay. And they actually offer a money-back guarantee. Well, You may keep the remaining portion and receive a full refund if you're not satisfied. Oof. Okay. Well, let's find out how satisfied we will be. I have a feeling that... Uh, I don't know, man. That, that last sauce... Was uh, yeah, look, was, I'm finally getting over it now. I'm kind of getting back yeah. to normal, but it, it took me for a loop. I don't know if that can beat the bomb. I don't know. Mm. That bomb's whew. all right. A, Here was, we are. Okay, you know, and and look, I, I do feel that it's worth mentioning. I like the packaging, I love uh, I've got a thing for bottles that look like little potion bottles, so I do think it's kind of cool. You know, I love the shape of the bottle, and I like the kind of old school almost steak sauce cap right. that's on it. Uh, that's kind of a nod to like old steak sauces, which I think that's a nice touch. Yeah, uh, like to like that packaging. Heinz, that Heinz fifty seven cap. Yeah, yeah, it's got that Heinz fifty seven cap kind of look. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pour some up here, and I am gonna go a little generous on the portion just so we can nose it. Oh, oh. boy, 
I can smell it already, dude. You're you're gonna. Oh man. Okay. Remember, uh, it's an important distinction here to make that this sauce is touted as having it's being it's hot, but also has flavor. All right, and that's well, what it looks like. And, and that's why I was uh, thinking that the bomb was hotter, uh, just because it's kind of foregoes that your the, sauce, that the marketing and all that stuff, and it's just fire in a bottle. If I can smell, I'm gonna smell it. It smells delightful, man. It, it really does. does. That's a far cry from anything else up here. I mean, that's very, very uh, aromatic. The nose is fantastic. Yeah. I mean, if if there was like, if there was like a fine cognac, I would probably say this would be out of the bottles. It's just a very aromatic. Very, very good looking sauce. Yeah, it's got a nice color to yeah. it. It smells good. Man, yeah, you know, I think that uh, maybe I'm a little jaded because I read the company's description of the sauce, but I think that mm. they are correct when they say uh, about the powders, okay, like the extracts and powders. You know, some guys that make a good hot chili sauce, like say they have the chili cook offs, and I know some of the cook offs for chili, uh, they tend to focus on heat. Like right. they'll see who can make the hottest chili, and then they'll they'll you know they'll vote based on how hot it is and things like that. So some people will use a lot of powders and things like that to achieve the flavors, and that's certainly doable. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but it certainly is a different smell of this sauce to the other ones. Yeah, no, they. they I think they're really emphasizing um, flavor. flavor. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So let's. Uh, I'm going to try just a small portion here. immediately in the nose it tastes just like it smells it does it's amazing and actually out of the only other sauce that actually tastes a lot like the nose in terms of the smell is the pure pure yeah i think that's i mean that's really good that's uh, not that hot but it's really good oh man what a great sauce yeah, that's probably the the best tasting sauce up there my like, hands down to me that's the best tasting I mean, Look, I do have to say, this is the most expensive sauce on the table. I mean, this costs, you could buy five bottles of Melinda's for what a bottle of this costs. Yeah, no, that's really good. Mm. It's yeah. hot, but it's good. I'm going to try some on a chip. You know what? I'm going to go all in here. I'll be honest with you, man. That's not registering too too much on the, on the heat factor. It's, uh, maybe it's just because I'm burnt out from the bomb. Oh. There it is. Never mind. It's it's a little bit there. <laughs> well, look, I think, I think I'm a, just. I've got a copious quantity here on this chip. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the. I'm gonna crunch in here. Ready? Let's do it. It's good flavor. Wonderful flavor. Mmm. Mmm. Man, good. that sauce is phenomenal. Yeah. No, that's that's. Dude, hands I want down. more. I seriously do. Hands down, best sauce, best flavored sauce up there. Mm. I highly recommend that. If you guys have the ability to pay $25 for a bottle of uh, hot sauce, that's it right there. Look, um, to be 110% fair, it, do it does have some heat. Man, what a fantastic flavor for a hot sauce. Yeah. That is the best hot sauce that we've had so it's, far. It's the ginger. Uh, you, can t you can taste the ginger immediately. It just pops. Ginger is a, is, a, is a really, really interesting floral type of flavor. You know, it, it has this uh, pungency to it, this floral almost. I, I compare it as a, almost a floral, like eating flower pellet in a way. When you have a freshly ground ginger, it has a certain, um, it's pungent. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, that's why in, <laughs> it's a little hot. In Japanese cuisine, that's why they serve ginger so you can cleanse your palate in between right. samples. So let's say you have like one type of sushi or this type of sushi or maybe a roll or even different pieces of fish as your palate becomes, you know, much more sensitive to different flavor profiles. The ginger really does help open up and, and cleanse your palate because it is a very uh, refreshing uh, type of thing, you know, and fresh ginger is really, really good stuff. And the ginger sets it off and that bit of citrus in there sets it off. And the fresh ingredients, the flavor of this hot sauce is fantastic. No, it's amazing. I, I mm. thoroughly enjoyed that. That was almost like a break 
from all the other hot sauces. Yes, it, it does have some heat, but the, the flavor is a, a very well welcomed. Oh man, that that uh, would be change. a great hot sauce to put on like your hamburger or you know, gosh, pizza. Yeah, man, I would douse my pizza down with the <clears throat> stuff. Man, I agree. That is fantastic. Yep. By by far the the hottest would be the bomb. Yeah. Best tasting is shit the bed. I don't think that it lives up to the moniker of shit the bed. I think that honestly, like full disclosure, we try to be honest here. Marketing fluff, like hundred yeah. percent marketing fluff, is not. It's not hot. <laughs> I had yeah. to catch myself there. I almost dropped an expletive. Uh, it's not hot, um, but it tastes amazing. Yeah, um, and I will say I do like the packaging because it it gives the feeling that the sauce is kind of approachable. Right. Like when you pick up a jar of Heinz 57, you know, you know, it's going to be a great sauce. And I think they're going for that very approachable type of not only the packaging, but I think that they they definitely achieve what they set out to do with that sauce. And um, I like Melinda's for the price. Um, the Bunsters is certainly my favorite out of them. Uh, the Piri Piri is tough to beat. Uh, wonderful classic uh, African hot sauce. Really, really good. Uh, the bomb, I would definitely consider that hot sauce to be like an additive. Right. I, I don't know if you would just like douse your wings in that. No, absolutely not. It was way too hot for that. Um, but that particular sauce, you could certainly uh, heat up a, a pot of chili quite well. And then I would say out of all of the sauces, the second most hot is definitely the reaper yeah or would you say the the garlic pepper which which one of these was the next one down in terms of heat i think the first was the bomb second was um the torchbearer okay the the one that looks like piri piri yep that one was the second hottest right and then the yep then the reaper yep and then i mean i guess if you're going that down that road it would be no, I mean, sh- shit the bed was hotter than either the Piri Piri or Melinda's. Okay. And then you had uh, Melinda's and then the Piri Piri sauce. I think that for a hot sauce that doesn't cost a lot of money, the Melinda's is a nice flavorful sauce. Right. Good flavor profile, bit of heat, but good flavor. And for the price, certainly a great option. But I would have to, I would definitely say that the, that the Bunster's is a gourmet hot sauce. Yeah. 110%. And, and I mean, I think the bottle shows that as well. It's probably one of the yeah. only bottles that has a has a different shape. Everything else is a very like, you can buy in bulk, you can buy them by the, you know, lot, like pallets. That one, yeah. it requires a little bit of uh, manufacturing to get that. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it, it definitely has a refined look in terms yeah. of the packaging. And, and let's face it, right? Packaging is a thing. You know, the appearance of a product it must please the eye when you purchase it too. Like, I mean, what do you think about when you unpack an Apple device, right? You know, and, and right. whether you buy a phone or an iPad or an iPod, it's the packaging is very eccentric and cool. And it's like a little process. It's like a little ritual to unpack the product. So I feel like packaging is a really important thing for a product. I agree. So Are you ready? speaking of it. I have something for you guys sitting behind you. Okay, so I might have told you a little bit of a white lie. Not only is this a hot sauce episode, we are going to end today's debauchery with the one chip challenge. Mm. Hockey. Okay, this is the black Mm. chip, and it is made with the Carolina Reaper. This is the black version of the chip. So talking about, um, about packaging... You notice it comes in a little coffin. You got the skull on there with the fireballs coming out. You know, there's like this little ritual. Okay, so let's let's see here. We're gonna I read. I don't um, want to do it. Look at, <laughs> I don't look at do that. It. I don't it, do it. it is one chip. It literally is one chip, and they're individually packaged because they're worried about someone touching their eyes. Do not touch your face. Okay. All righty. Let's see. Okay. Can you handle this deadly heat? This is the, uh, you know, from the packaging here, the Pocky One Chip Challenge. Okay. Uh, Made with the Carolina Reaper pepper. Created for the sheer pleasure of intense heat and pain. So I guess it is a genetically engineered pepper, a freak of a pepper. What to expect? Your mouth is on fire. A short-term loss of speech. Impaired vision from tears. Extreme profanity. And in some cases, death. Because it shows, 
It shows a little gravestone there that says R.I.P. for rest in peace. Okay. I'm, this is scary, man. I'm like reading it and... Oh, come on. But remember, like we said, marketing and packaging is all part of the allure of a certain product. So that's kind of what we're also exploring today. Okay. How to enter the one chip challenge if you dare. Try it. Eat the chip. See how long you can last without reaching for milk or ice cream. Don't say we didn't warn you. We have milk on hand. We don't have ice cream, but we do have milk. Yes. Prove it. Take a video of your attempt to survive the one chip challenge, hashtag one chip challenge, and the chip and coffin must be in view. Post it. Tag Pocky Chips in your Instagram feed, blah, blah, blah. And basically, your profile must be public, blah, blah, blah. So it's sort of a little social media gag that they've got. And that's smart. That's smart marketing. Um, I will say, I have had Pocky uh, products before. Uh, they do make some relatively hot chips that they're just selling like a regular bag of chips. And uh, the Pocky products that I have had are excellent. They are very good. All right, <coughs> so it says the box has to be in view. All right, put your box over here. <coughs> Okay, so Brandy's saying don't touch the chip. Uh, most people work <sighs> so try not to. Okay. Oh, right. we're, we're like legit doing this. I. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, man. we're doing it. All right. And I would probably say that we don't want to... Uh, we don't want to... Not only do we not want to touch the chip, uh, I'm not going to make the mistake of smelling the chip. I'm just going to go down the hatch, chew wait, it up. Wait, my chip is broken. Does that um, mean well, I only have to eat a portion of I'm it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab this little guy. It's like, it's like grabbing something that's ven like a, a venomous snake that you don't want to get bit by, and you got to hold it way out, you know. But dude, in this case, I'm eating dude, the venomous snake, dude. Seriously. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, are you hold ready? On, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not ready. What? What is I'm there to hold ready. on to? I'm not ready. I have to. I have to. Do you be have in to the... psych yourself up? Yes. Yes, I do. I do. This is this is serious business, man. Dude. <clears throat> All right. Th these things are touted as being 1.8 to 2.0 million Scoville units. Two million Scoville units on the top end. You're not helping. <laughs> I'm trying to psych him out. Yeah, you should always try to psych your opponent out. Oh, now look, we man. can be all jovial right now. We can joke and we can make fun of it. But the bottom line is, we're going to turn into a couple of babies here in a minute. I have a feeling. So, uh, yeah, let's do it. All right. You ready? Yep. Nice texture. Doesn't really have much of a flavor. I'm still chewing. Mm. My face is really down hot. the hatch. I have a feeling that uh, we're going to really regret this. All right, one chip challenge. We're into it. Uh, there is certainly some heat to be had. It is kicking in. <laughs> My wife is laughing at me because she knows I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm laughing at Matt. All right. <laughs> All right, so what happened is someone in the laboratory has a sick sense of humor. They said, how hot can we make a pepper? I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to talk. It's pretty hot. It's pretty hot. Yep. Look, look. I can't. I can't. Look. <laughs> what? You're tapping out already? There you go, Eric. You win. No, no I don't want. <laughs> no, man. I, I can't. My face literally just went numb. I, I can't do it. I don't think that's going to help, but oh, man, that's hot. <sighs> <sighs> I'm holding out as long as I can. <sighs> Ooh, oh, it's hot even with the milk. <laughs> oh, it's not real. You are it's not real. You're crying, man. It's not real. It's not real. It's not real pain. Mm -hmm. uh, 
It's not real pain. That's real pain, man. <sighs> That's real pain. <sighs> That's so hot. It's hot. <sighs> you can do it. You can do it. Okay, look, um, I'm not going to lie, that's hot. That's really hot. Um, my heat threshold is considerable, but that's hot. I can feel it in my throat. I can feel it in my esophagus. I can feel it going down my, my chest. Yeah. Um, certainly watering a bit here. Uh, my mouth is completely numb. My eyes are watering. Um. <sighs> It is very hot. It's unpleasant. I'll, um, I'll let you experience that, friend. <sighs> I don't think that I would want to eat a whole bag of them. <sighs> you don't understand how milk is so good. <laughs> really? So yeah. would you like to, uh, Matt, if you will, explain to me how... The <laughs> <clears throat> I can't... <coughs> It gets worse. I can't breathe. Oh, my God. Dude, listen. In a series of very bad ideas, this is the worst. Yeah, but you haven't had milk yet. I can only imagine. Mine hurts even with the milk. It's hot. Oh, man. That was a hot chip. It's still a hot chip. It's a hot and chip. Yeah, you act like it's gone. It's you know, not. <laughs> it's look, not man. Gone. <laughs> it's hot. <sighs> you know, look, that's a hot chip. Okay. I expect it to be worse. I really would. I really do. You're a grown man and you're crying. Look, okay. <laughs> This is an involuntary reaction, okay? I am not crying because I'm a sissy. I'm crying because this chip makes, is making my body think that I'm running a marathon. Like my tears burn my face right I'm scared now. to touch my face. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Look, that is one hot chip, okay? It really is. That's a hot chip. Okay, I, I would agree with you that... Thoughts. I mean, it's super, super hot, man. I mean, it's it's like this intense burn. Like, it's like a burn deep in your body that you can't... If I was going to imagine what getting hit with, like, Willie Pete was on the inside, that's what it would feel like. It's not quite the kick in the teeth yeah. that I imagined. It was like one of those... It was a creeper. Like, you ate the chip... And nothing happened. And then it's slowly over the course of like 30 to 45 seconds, it was just like this intense heat that built up. And I mean, I felt my face go numb and my lips go numb and I reached for that milk right away. Um, I'm not one to like have a panic attack, but I was, I, I felt like I was about to have a panic attack. <laughs> I said, I don't know what's going on. I mean, that is most certainly a very, very, very hot. Oh, oh man! Um, you know, all right. So I'd like to just take a moment now. Look, if you're still with us on this video Whew. or podcast, thank you guys for sticking around and uh, hopefully relishing in some of our pain. And I'm probably talking like I'm drunk because I'm referring to my words a little bit. <sighs> but uh, um, this has been a fun video. It's been fun, uh, fun po podcast. Um, and look, uh, I just feel like for esoteric reasons, maybe we will. Um, leave the camera running just a little bit, but uh, I have to say, I I've watched a lot of videos and accounts of the One Chip Challenge, and it is a very hot chip, and, you know, looking at some of the people's reactions to eating this chip, you know, you would think that they were having a hot poker stuffed up the rear end, you know, and, and I have a feeling that once this chip makes its way through my system and then exits my body, that there's a very strong possibility I will have a uh, re-reckoning, uh, so to speak. <laughs> now, um, I will say, man, um, 
it didn't really live up to the hype. Not as hot as I thought it was going to be. I, it I, was initially like like you said that first like forty five seconds to a minute, the the chip really takes you for a ride, and there's that rush. And for like maybe a good solid two and a half three minutes, it's like your mouth is on fire, like you're eating hot coals. But I'm good. I I gonna have to take your word for it because I don't think I could give you an honest opinion because I reached for the milk right away. I threw in the towel and I thought I was I thought I could do it and I can't. I mean that was just still the fear got the better of me and I you know like I said I'm not. I'm not one to have an ambulance called on me. <laughs> well, it is one hot chip. And while I, I do think that right now, if I reach for some milk, you know, yeah, it would probably like take the edge off and I'd be pretty pretty much good to oh, go. it definitely helps. Yeah, yeah. I know. Um, <laughs> I will say that even this far in, I, I think I've been timing it. I don't know. We're probably, what, five minutes into eating the chip at this point. Yeah. Um, the worst of it's over. Uh, now my mouth tingles just like we had, I don't know, maybe it, it on, honestly the the uh the bomb hot sauce right hit me a little bit harder than the than the pocky and you might be right i don't think i think that they got me on the marketing and maybe they did their job uh, right. as far as like i just had this more i had this intense fear more than anything i said you know what i'm i'm scared i don't want to know what this next step is you know just in case um but I think you might be correct. The initial flavor from the from the bomb sauce was much more of a kick in the teeth than than the chip. Yeah, yeah, I do. I, I do think that. So there's your uh, Pocky One Chip Challenge to top off our hot sauce flight today. Um, so Oof. let me know. Would you guys like to see a pepper flight uh, where we consume peppers? Say uh, no. Going, you know, in, in various. Uh, say points. no. So I feel like now we have to do a pepper. A challenge. You let Get them down decide. To like that. The you let raw, them decide. The raw, you know, homeliness of just a good old pepper. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, I mean, if that's what they want, I'm. If they want it, let us know. <laughs> that's okay, all I'm cool. going to say. Um, so, all right, we're going to wrap up things today. I know this episode went a little longer than what we normally do, but we got to taste some really good sauces. And uh, the one chip challenge is, I'll admit, was something I was a little bit intimidated by. At I first was severely intimidated because it's by very it. effective marketing. Yeah. I mean. Don't touch it with your hands. Oh, put it in a little thing. Oh, don't touch it. And it's got its own little bag and really unique packaging. And the the marketing is really, really clever for the One Chip Challenge. And I think it really is, at, it, at its heart, a marketing tool for them. And it's a very intelligent marketing tool. I have to say, in terms of, uh, if we look at the marketing uh, acumen of all of these companies, I have to say, uh, the Bunsters... Uh, wins in the hot sauce category and of course Pocky is doing a great job with their with their packaging and their marketing and I just love that aspect of uh, this type of stuff is um, you know marketing is a big thing when people consider how you actually market a product and um, yeah really neat stuff so um, definitely take a moment to thank all of our Patreon supporters those of you who purchase man cans and of course if you would like to support uh, Life, Liberty, and the Pursuit, or Iraq Veteran 88. You can also go over to Ballistic Pink and pick yourself up a snazzy t-shirt. Uh, you know, you can support Matt and his efforts, and of course our channel. And there's a bunch of great content creators um, over there on the site. Any of the shirts you buy on their individual sites, you support those individual content creators as well. So, really cool stuff. This has been Life, Liberty, and the Pursuit. And we really appreciate you guys tuning in. Those of you who are watching our terrified faces here on the YouTube Ooh. channel, make sure that you go over to LLP Podcast, Life, Liberty, and the Pursuit, and follow us on all of the podcast outlets. We're available on most of them. Uh, we're all over the place on there. Go on there and leave us a five-star review. Leave us a nice rating, and we would love to have you back. So uh, appreciate it, and many more podcasts and YouTube videos on the way. Make sure you subscribe to Iraq Veteran 8888 over on YouTube. We will see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>